हेलो दोस्तों तो कैसे हो आप लोग स्वागत है आपका टेक्नोलॉजी नेट्स के एक और फ्रेश वीडियो में मैं अनुराग आपका होस्ट आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत करता हूं तो आज हमारे साथ जुड़े जुड़े हैं हमारे फ्रेंड हर्षला तो हर्षला अपना इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस और कई सारी एम एन सी कंपनीज में प्लेस हुए हैं तो वो अपना एक्सपीरियंस शेयर करने वाली है तो सबसे पहले हर्षला अपने बारे में इंट्रोड्यूस करो अच्छा इंग्लिश इज प्रेफरेबल फॉर मी सो हेलो गाइस माय नेम इज हर्षला संजय गावरे एंड आई एम करेंटली कंप्लीटिंग माय बैचलर्स इन कंप्यूटर इंजीनियरिंग सो आई एम परसुइंग इन माय लास्ट सेमेस्टर as you all know that in a few i mean few days or i will say one month is left to complete our engineering uh, studies and then moving further for our professional life. so that's it for my introduction is and yeah anything else in that okay good uh, so uh, the first question is from my side is ki aap kon kon si companies mein placed hui hai हाँ मैं अभी फर्स्ट मेरा प्रेफरेंस इवोसिस करके कंपनी थी जो गुजरात में है तो वहाँ प्लेसमेंट हुआ था सेकेंडली मैं पी में प्लेस हुई उसके बाद उगम सोल्यूशंस जिनका हेड ऑफिस थाने और गोरेगाव में है इन मुंबई महाराष्ट्र वहाँ प्लेस हुई और अभी लास्ट मंथ फेब्रुवरी में एटॉस सेंटल में प्लेस हुई ओके तो मैं आपके पास मिनिमम फाइव कंपनीज है आई थिंक फोर कंपनीज ओके टीसीएस आल्सो यू प्लेस्ड आई थिंक या 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 आई गॉट प्लेस्ड इन टीसीएस ओके गुड सो इन सभी कंपनीज उसमें से आप कौन सी कंट्री कंपनी में वर्क करना चाहते हैं लाइक अभी तो मैंने उबन सॉल्यूशंस का ऑफर और टीसीएस दोनों का ऑफर एक्सेप्ट किया बट आई विल प्रिफर उगम एज उनका लोकेशन मुझे ऑलरेडी पता है दैट माई वर्क लोकेशन वेर इट इज एक्जैक्टली सो वहाँ जाएंगे ओके सो यू वॉन्ट टू गो इन अगम सोल्यूशन वाई उगम सोल्यूशन वाई टी सी एस नॉट बिकॉज इज एम एन सी कंपनी एंड एवरी वन वॉन्ट टू वर्क इन एम एन सी कंपनी कंसिडरिंग देर आर टू थ्री पॉइंट्स विच आई विल सी दैट फर्स्ट इज दे हैव नॉट स्पेसिफाइड अ वर्क लोकेशन फॉर मी करेंटली एंड इफ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट माइग्रेशन इन फ्रॉम माइग्रेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू दैन इन आर मिनिमम फैक्ट्रीज एंड मैनेजिंग ऑल द एक्सपेंसिज सो इट इज़ वेरी डिफिकल्ट इफ यू आर माइग्रेटेड फ्रॉम योर होम टाउन सो दैट इज द ओनली रीजन आई एम कीपिंग पीसेस असाइड बट अदरवाइज पीसेस इज पीसेस वॉज इन माई ड्रीम कंपनी टू वर्क विद so that is the one of the thing that i will prefer ugam as i have to stay in my hometown and work for the company and serve my best and second thing is that as per my interview which took place and later all whatever meetings i attended for ugam so they told me that artificial intelligence or data scientist will be my job uh, बताइए Ugam Solutions जब मेरा सिलेक्शन हुआ था वो ऑन कैंपस थी ऑन कैंपस थी माई प्लेसमेंट टू प्लेस इन द मंथ ऑफ नवम्बर सो बिफोर फिफ्टीन डेज लाइक आई गेस इट हैज स्टार्टेड इट्स राउंड फ्रॉम पास्ट फिफ्टीन ऑफ अक्टूबर समथिंग लाइक दैट पीरियड सो मैच सो बेसिकली देर there are how many rounds uh yeah if we are talking about the round then the first round was of aptitude round for the followed by uh, group discussion then technical interview and then 
Yeah. Oh, how, how was the FD round? Like difficulty level of FD round is? Yeah. It was an intermediate level round. Like uh, all type of calls and logical questions as well as uh, reasoning ability questions were uh, the part of it. Then, yeah, I mean, if we are comfortable with any two of this criteria, like any two of this section, then it is quite easier to crack the apples. So, which type of question are asked in a FD round? Like number system, uh, reasoning makes yeah. type of question, the, easy, the, moderate, the, or high? The. Yeah, as I told you, now, the overall rating for the exam was like intermediate level. It was not too difficult, it was not too easy also. As too easy because uh, I will say uh, quant, quant section, that is number system, considering of number system, then uh, pro, percentage, then pro, ratio proportion, then uh, there are many pro probabilities like topics. So those, are, those quantitative questions are quite difficult. I will say, like, it's not quite a difficult, but it, it, those are quite tricky questions. We need to understand them first and then solve it. Uh, then we talk about uh, reasoning, then, yeah, reasoning is a uh, quite easier part for me because it has logic, so we have to just apply it and then uh, get to the answer. And verbal is like, it's fine. It's a normal grammar, normal English communication question. So that's it. And what about technical coding round? Which type of question they ask in technical round? Uh, yeah, technical round, it was like, uh, first was the MCQ section and followed by the programming question. So, uh, according to me, uh, my programming was on a metal platform. And uh, their first section was, was of MCQ question which included MCQs of normal computer fundamentals, programming, networking, then um, this data structure, then database, MCQ mixture. MCQ is a mixture of all these sets of questions. And uh, then programming question, there were two for programming question. Uh, one was, uh, yeah, both were solved using Java language. But, I remember, yeah, both were solved using Java language. So, which type of question, like array question, yeah, string type of question, uh, which type of question are in the coding now? First question was a basic programming question uh, where we have to uh, use arithmetic operations and get to the uh, solution which uh, desired output which they were required. Second question was on array question. I exactly don't remember what the question uh, questions uh, formulation was, but yeah, the second question was based on array. So it was easy or moderate or hard? Technical coding round was was that moderate moderate. Round. What about second round? It's JD round, I think so. Yeah, yeah, it was a group discussion. So, can you elaborate the GD round? Uh, for group discussion round, there was about 15 to 20 people. And uh, what happened was there was a conveyor uh, who was leading the GD uh, from the company itself. Uh, what she did was she gave us uh, 30 seconds. She gave us first topic that what exactly our GD will be. It was a technical topic. Uh, yeah, I remember the topic. That is a artificial intelligence uh, ruling human intelligence. That was the base, that was the, what the topic was. And she gave us 30 seconds to search on it. Uh, that how exactly we are going to represent our topic. She asked us to, after 30 seconds, she asked us to start uh, for the GD, there were several participants, participants uh, like candidates who were already there. We have to put forth ourselves and try to communicate, try to uh, keep forward our point in 
in front of those people. Or uh, even we have to listen to them, we have to contradict their point, or we have to just be with their point and take that point for in further uh, add up to that point. I would say. So that's it. That was what GT round was. After GT round, when you received the mail of some question. Uh, within two, uh, within one day, I received the shortlist email. After that, that, what is the procedure? The interview was based on a uh, technical question. First of all, it was it started with my uh, introduction itself. There, I have to introduce myself. Uh, means my personal interview, as well as uh, like personal points that like my name is Mushla, and uh, for that in which language I have been interested in, then what are my final year project, then where I am studying currently, followed by my uh, extracurricular activities and hobbies. That's it. This was my introduction. Then what he took, he took two points into consideration. That is, first this was about my final year project. That on what project I am working, then uh, he started asking me that just brief about your project. That what have you did in it? Then what are the modules you have used? What are the difficulties you faced? On which language you are working on for this project? Then how many members are there? Is this a group group project or etc. Then he also asked about my mini projects also, like uh, what mini projects you did uh, previously. And then after that, he asked me that if he, if I ask you to work on uh, .NET or any other programming language, then are you ready? So I was like, yes, I am ready. And if we didn't provide you, he was asking me a tricky question that if I didn't provide you any kind of training, then what is your answer? So I was like, sir, I think that I am uh, quite capable that I can study on. But it will be a great way to uh, work or to learn something from uh, expertise like you. So he was quite blessed with the answer. Please read the answer. So uh, in a technical language, which type of question asked? Like on your programming language, uh, which type of question they ask? For programming, they first started with uh, basic object-oriented concepts, and then. They, they basically first asked that are you comfortable with object oriented languages so i said so then they asked which languages do you know so i said java so they started asking me about object object oriented uh, concept then encapsulation then inheritance then those concepts then further they moved on data structure as well that with what kind of uh, data structure do you know whether you know the c data structure or whether you know uh, java data structure then uh, further they move on. Uh, yeah. Then they also ask two three question based on database as well. So uh, in uh, data uh, database, which type of question they ask about like truncate? What is truncate? What is join? This type of question they ask. Yeah, they ask me about joins. They ask me about indexes. Uh, they ask to me about uh, this. TCL, uh, transaction control language as well. Okay. By the end of that day, uh, we received that the shortlisted student for personal interview round are uh, this business. So I, my name was shortlisted, and on the very next day, my uh, HR round was uh, started. So what exactly she asked me in HR round was she did, uh, straight away told me that Hashla, I will ask you only five questions. So tell me about yourself. This is the first question. Then she told me that in flow you have to go. You should not stop. You should not uh, hesitate to answer. You should not even show me some negative points that this will be the thing. So she told me that tell me about yourself. Tell me something about Ugam. What exactly you know about Ugam? Uh, then uh, further she told me that what are your hobbies? How you nurture your hobbies? And last. Tell me your preferred work location, that is Goriga or Thani. These were the five questions you asked me. So that's it. This was our my PI round. Yeah, the main thing was uh, the second question that tell me about Google. So that was a bit new question for me. Like I will suggest that if it is an HR round, then 
every student should know about the company uh, which you are appearing for. Okay. So you gave the answer perfectly, I think so. Yeah, even I, I read about the founders, that these are the founders we are working. They have been merged with a mortal company recently. And some recent updates about the companies were also important. Okay. After, after that, uh, when you received the mail that you got placed, yeah, after two, three days, I received a mail that I have been closed and followed by uh, offer letter. Uh, no, basically, before that, receiving the offer letter, my HR called me and she informed me that you have been closed. So, after within two, three, two, three days, you will get the offer letter, which you have to sign within, uh, sign or revert it back within seven days. Uh, that you are accepting our advice in system. Good, Ashla. So, do you want to give advice to our freshers? Yes, the advice is the same. Like, now you can start from now. Like, it is a uh, high time now. Now you are going to go to the final year. Now you will start the placement in July. Basically, as per our college, our placement started in the month of August or September actually. Which colleges may say that in the colleges in June say he starting with you. So that's it. That start taking efforts towards FT first. Then after that, slowly, slowly, just say FT clear. So that now, just say technical ka preparation karna start karo. Step by step, jao pressure na ro. First round is very important to clear. That's all. So I'm very glad to have you here. Thank you to come to our channel and give uh, valuable information to our freshers, to our viewers. So, so if the video is a little bit good, please like the like and share it with your friends and share it with this video so that they can get help and help. So if the video is a little bit good, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. So thank you for watching.